Hello, this is a video for my 7th grade advanced class. Welcome to Unit Rate and Proportional Relationships. This is a good video to watch if you just weren't sure of how to do some of the problems on the last test or if you just need to review because this video is always going to be here and eventually you're going to need to remember this stuff again anyways. So let's get started. Okay, so when you're doing unit rate problems, essentially what you're doing is you just divide. And you have to figure out what's in your numerator, what's in your denominator, but once you divide, your denominator should be 1. So that's why it's called a unit rate. You know, miles per 1 hour, or meters per 1 second, something like that. So look at our first example. Zoe walks 2 miles in 1 third of an hour. What is our unit rate in miles per hour? So I'm going to set this up as a complex fraction. So it's 2 miles in one third of an hour. And just to kind of make this a little easier, I'm going to make that 2 a 2 over 1 because you can always put a number over 1. And this will let us do our toilet bowl or Drake method because we're started from the bottom and now we're here. 2 times 3 gives us our 6. Start from the bottom and now we're here over 1. So what that means is our final answer is Zoe walks six miles in one hour okay next question Helen Grace mixes six cups of sugar for every three quarts of water what is her unit rate in terms of quarts per cup and I had that specifically because that's how we need to find our answer quarts per cup alright so which one's talking about quarts in this problem hmm? is it six or three Quartz is 3, so that's going to be our numerator. And then denominator is 6 cups. So it, unit rate would just be 3 over 6, or we can simplify that to 1 half. Okay, and what that means is it is 1 half quart for every cup. Okay, you got to pay attention to what they are asking for. Because mixing those up, if, this, if we did it in reverse order, 6 over 3, that would be 2 incorrect answer. Alright, we can find proportional relationships in graphs. And in this case, we're going to want to try to write an equation for it. So, I'm going to put this down here. And we could also track this in a chart if we wanted to. Okay, so remember this is our x value, this is our y. Or we could call this cost, cost would be our y and over here gallons would be our x so let's try to track this alright now what I was going for here it's kinda hard to see but I was trying to get this graph if you can kinda oh that's not making it any better is I was trying to make that graph look like it is for every one gallon of gas it's gonna cost us three dollars you can kinda see because this would be then when we get two gallons, you can see how that would be at six. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's not perfect, but at three gallons, we would be somewhere around nine. Can you guys see this relationship? And that's useful because if we were to try to find a unit rate here, it would just be y's over x's. So the unit rate is three over one. Okay, so what it means is $3 for every one gallon of gas. Okay, that's the unit rate, that's the rate of change, that's the constant of proportionality, because obviously if we go back to where this graph crosses the y-axis right here, it starts at 0, 0. So if we were to come up with an equation for this, it would be pretty easy. Remember, x is the gallons, and y is the cost. So the cost is equal to, depends on how many gallons you buy, but... In this case, the cost is equal to 3, or 3 over 1, 3 times the number of gallons. So two equations we could write for this are y is equal to 3x, or c is equal to 3g, again, according to whatever variables you need to use. So we turned a graph just by finding rise over run, how much this graph is going up. If it's a linear proportional relationship, we can turn it into a chart by coming up with ordered pairs. Like, for instance, this pair, 6 
two and six. What that ordered pair means is two gallons of gas costs six dollars. And each of these points means a different thing in this situation. You just have to look at your variables, what they're telling you each variable stands for. You can find the unit rate by just dividing your uh, y's by the x's. Six divided by two would give you three. Three divided by nine divided by three would be three. And you can plug that into an equation, put your unit rate right here. Y is equal to unit rate times x. Of course, this is also known as slope when we get into algebra. So they all tie together, they all fit together. Let's see more examples. Okay, what if we just had an equation? And since this is a proportional relationship, they'll generally look like this. So let's say y is equal to 1 half x. Okay, x values are located on this axis, y value is located on the y. We can make a chart for this x and y. Mm, we'll start with zero. What is, if I'm going to take this number and plug it in for x, so what is zero times one half? Oh, that's easy. That's zero. Okay, move on to the next one. Let's try one. What is, if I plug this in here, one times one half? Well, it's just one half. And next one I'm going to try two. So what is two times one half, or two halves is really just one whole. We can keep going with this. I'm going to try the next one. It's four. Half of four is two. Okay, and this will give us some good points to start with. But we're going, starting from our equation here, turning it into a graph or a table. They're all related. And of course, the unit rate here would just be this divided by this, this divided by this. Doesn't matter. One half divided by one, you always get unit rate. One half, same thing as our slope. Okay, so let's start plotting those points. Okay, so zero, zero would be right here. Let me pick a different color so you can see a little bit better. Zero, zero. Then we're going to go over one, up one half. Oh, this is hard to see, but it'll look better. And then over two, up one. It's really hard to draw on this, but I think you kind of can see it forming. Over two. Sorry, over four, up two. That would be here, somewhat in this area. And if you can kind of connect these with a line that looks better than mine, you can see you have a graph that looks something like this. 8, 4, yeah, that point would be on the line, somewhere there. Um, so we turned our equation, just looking at slope and rise over run here, and our unit rate, up, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, and it's tracked through this whole... Um, this whole line. Okay, so hopefully this helps you review. Maybe you can use this for some test corrections. Uh, we are going to need to know this stuff later in the year, so it'll be a good chance if you forgot to go back and review this. Proportional relationships, unit rates, all very much related. All right, good luck, guys. Have a great rest of your week.